<laughs> what does my workout have to do with carbon credits? Let's find out. My name is Jay Lippman, this is The Day Before Tomorrow, and today, carbon offsets, part two. Specifically, why carbon offsets alone are not enough. Let's start by reminding ourselves what is an offset. Simply put, offsets are reductions or removals of emissions that can be purchased to compensate for emissions made elsewhere. You might be familiar with the $2 billion offset industry already, maybe from your professional experience, our previous video on the subject, or from literally everywhere in the news. Now, we've already released a video on how to identify effective versus ineffective or junk offsets, but we've gotten a mild avalanche of requests to dive deeper into offsets and discuss their validity in the fight against climate change. We give the people what they want here at uh, Day Before Tomorrow. We sure do. So, to set the stage, let's talk about the problem at hand. We have too much carbon in the atmosphere, right? And more going in every single day, which adds up to a planet that keeps getting hotter. And when you're as pale and as ginger as me, it's personal. And what I want to communicate today is that while carbon offsets are a portion of the necessary work required to avoid more dangerous warming, it is vital that we also push companies, governments, and other entities to curb emissions in the first place. Why? Let's see if a little metaphor will help me explain. Let's say that I've decided to reject my destiny as the 99 cent store version of Chris Hemsworth and train to get into Marvel movie shape. I've got a lot of work ahead of me. While I can and will adopt the Hemsworth workout, right, the bicep curls, the sprints, the jazzercise, to build up muscle and to remove fat, it's not enough. What I'll also need to do is adopt the Thor diet. I have to shift what I eat to cleaner, healthier food. That means no more junk food, soda pop, sweet, sweet croissants, my Achilles heel. And though, understandably, not everyone wants to look like this metaphor, that's the Hemsworth equation. Work out like mad and eat clean. In other words, you don't get Marvel fit just by exercising. You need both sides of that equation. And if we want a healthy planet, it's not just enough to remove carbon, we also need to stop emissions in their tracks. Stats, and here are the stats that back it up. If we only remove carbon and don't reduce emissions, we are still on track to warm by over three degrees by the end of the century. But if we add cutting emissions and subsidizing renewables to our solutions toolkit, avoiding the worst effects of climate change might still be possible. And that gives me this, this weird tingly feeling like hope. This has been The Day Before Tomorrow. I'm Jay Littman and sadly, not Chris Hemsworth. At least you have an accent. It's, it's fake.